Hi, my name is Connor Roberts. I am the Troop Master for Trail Life USA Troop 147, based in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to the Trail Life Motion Graphics Suite tutorial video for Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to take a look at some of the motion elements from the Science and Technology Suite and see how we use them in this video. First, let's go to the beginning here, where we see our animated sprite in the center of the screen. In order to understand how we use this file, we first have to make sure this file is imported into our project. To do that, we use the File Import feature, and we select the full MOV file. I've already done that, as you can see here. So now what did we do with it in this video? First thing we'll want to do is click on it in our timeline. And then we can take a look at some of the keyframes I added to give it a little more appeal. So what did I do here with the scaling? Well first I started out with the 0% scale. The scaling is what gives it the size in the middle of your screen. Larger or smaller. I'm going to undo that to make sure I put it back to zero. Then I'm going to zoom in here on my keyframe timeline and take a look at what these different keyframes actually do. Now you'll notice that I don't have the standard keyframe you would normally see, which is this icon right here, the diamond. Instead, I have what are called Easy Ease keyframes. What this does is it gives the animation a little bit more of a natural feel rather than a linear motion. To understand what this is, think about a car. When a car moves, it doesn't move from point A to point B in the same velocity and speed throughout, but rather there's some ramp up time. It takes some time for the car to get up to its top speed, and then before it reaches point B, it has to slow down, decelerate. Think of Easy Ease as the same concept, slow ins and slow outs. So what did I do with my keyframes? I started out at 0%. As the timeline advances, I go to 59%. And then I pull back to 50%. So what this does is creates a pop-in effect for the animated sprite. Let's take a look. To me, that gives it a little more appeal than just fading it in or sliding it in from the side. Now, how do we make the animated sprite disappear? Well, in a similar way, a pop-out effect. So, if we look at the keyframes now, we're going back from a 50% up to a 59%, down to zero. Exactly the opposite of what we did before. And we're still using the Easy Ease keyframes to keep that motion realistic. Let's take a look. Directly after we exit out of that, we're going into the Troop title. What this is, is a quick preface to the video to say, your troop is the one that created this video, so sit back, enjoy it, it's on us. Now, as we advance through the video, we come upon the second element, the TLUSA-Science-Lower3rd MOV file. As we advance forward, we'll see that the lower third comes in appears with the title, as well as the troop number. Now, if you select this in your video timeline, you'll notice that I don't have many keyframes on this. The items that flew in were already encoded into the MOV file, so you do not have to worry about shifting keyframes within your timeline to make that motion happen. Now you'll notice there's a specific troop number on my timeline here, within the lower third. That troop number can be changed in After Effects directly, or if you have After Effects CC 2014 or higher installed, you can actually change it in Premiere using the Live Text feature. To do that, you would come over here and import the actual After Effects project file into your Premiere Pro project. If we double click on this After Effects project, we'll see that this is in fact the AEP file. And using Adobe Dynamic Link, we can scroll through it as if we were in After Effects. Now you'll notice as I scroll through my video, the lower third continues throughout almost the entire thing. 
This gives the video a sense of continuity as you move between scenes. To give the video an even higher sense of continuity, I bookend it by using the animated sprite again at the end, but in a different way. I put the animated sprite behind the Trail Life logo, almost as if the Trail Life logo and the animation are a molecule or an atom. I really liked this. Let's see how it looks. Cool. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and gives you some ideas for how you could use these elements in your own videos.